I want you to hit me as hard as you can. To protect your future, he will erase your past. In 1996, Arnold Schwarzenegger was one of the biggest stars in the world. Right up there with Sylvester Stallone, John claude Van Damme, Bruce Willis, and others. He could take an action flick to blockbuster heights based on his name alone. But times were about to change, and a new breed of movie star was on the horizon. But for Schwarzenegger, he wasn't going out without a fight, and had one more gigantic hit ready to explode. That film was Eraser. He will erase your past to protect your future. Eraser is a movie that will be remembered for being Arnold's last huge non-franchise hit. But it deserves to be remembered for more than that. It's a legit kick-ass flick that combines the best of the old school 80s macho style with 90s style enhancements. So rather than Arnold going guns blazing commando style, we get him armed up with giant laser guns like some kind of universal soldier. Oh wait, that's a different franchise. The plot of Eraser is the meat and potatoes stuff we love. Arnold even has an awesome name. He plays U.S. Marshal John the Eraser Kruger. He sounds like a WWE pro wrestling villain. Kruger is the guy who gets called in to protect high value federal witnesses, those that have squads of assassins trying to keep them quiet. Former Miss America turned award winning actress Vanessa Williams plays just such a witness, an employee at a high tech weapons defense contractor who discovers they've been selling deadly weapons on the black market. There's a problem though. The conspiracy doesn't just reach all the way to the top of her company, but John's bosses are involved too, so he must protect his witness from enemies on all sides. Thanks for watching Real Action. If you enjoy our shows, please subscribe to our channel right now, like this video, and click on the bell so you can be notified each time a new video goes up. Eraser came out during a time when a lot of the big action movies were trying to appeal to the masses. And to do it, they would tone down the language and the violence for a PG-13 rating. But that's not what Eraser director Chuck Russell, also known for Nightmare on Elm Street 3, and The Blob, was shooting for. This thing is wall-to-wall -wall bonkers shit, and it's awesome. Right off the bat, a merciless opening scene sets the right tone, with Arnold, clad in black ninja gear by the way, pulling off a gruesome kill using a refrigerator and a sharp twist of the neck. Damn! It might be the best kill of the entire movie. You know this joint is sick when Arnold is pulling off combat rolls. But there will be so much more that's badass about Eraser, including what might be the single best moment in Schwarzenegger movie history. Well, except for this one. It's not a tumor! Okay. So Eraser co-stars the great James Caan as U.S. Marshal Robert Duguerin, Kruger's mentor and presumed friend. But of course, he turns out to be a bad guy and drugs Kruger, who wakes up, daggers him with a piece of his belt buckle, gets him to a gunfight, throws a freaking chair into the plane's engine, nearly gets thrown from the burning plane but hangs on for dear life, then has the nuts to grab a parachute and hurl it into the sky Let's go so he can fall after it, through the flames I might add, deploys the parachute, then has the wherewithal to turn around and engage in a high stakes standoff with the plane that is circled around to finish him off. I'm breathless just thinking about it. And look, that scene is nearly topped by a fight in Central Park Zoo where he goes barrel to snout with a hungry gator. Your luggage. Did I mention that Arnold did most of his own stunts for this movie too?
Eraser just ticks off all the buttons. Robert Pastorelli was a lot of fun as Johnny, a former federal witness and hacker with mob connections. Khan made for a great bad guy, even though he was no physical match for Arnold. He made up for it with wits and cunning and sheer greed. Therein lies your problem, Mr. Bond. You see, we're both men of action, but your era and Miss Lynn's is passing. Words are the new weapons. Satellites, the new artillery. And you become the new supreme allied... commander? Exactly. There were also some solid supporting turns by an Oscar-winning Magnificent Seven actor, James Coburn, and James Cromwell. You'll also find a young John Slattery long before he showed up in Mad Men. Really classing up the joint was co-star Vanessa Williams, the first African-American woman crowned Miss America. Williams had bounced back from a penthouse magazine scandal to be an award-winning singer and actress. Not only was she smoking hot, but her character, Lee Cullen, was no damsel in distress, proving to be smart and resourceful despite, you know, people dying all around her. We have Arnold's ex-wife, Maria Shriver, to thank for suggesting Williams for the role, despite Williams not having done a ton of acting at that point. She would largely stay away from action movies after Eraser, but would join Samuel L. Jackson for Shaft years later. That's it. That's everything I am. No, that's nothing. It's a few numbers and some plastic. With your eyes in here. No one can take that from you. Arnold and director Chuck Russell were drawn to Eraser, even though they were planning on doing a completely different movie at first. Russell saw the potential in Arnold playing such a character, saying, quote, I see Arnold the way a lot of people do, as a mythic, bigger-than-life character. And that's who Kruger is. The character and the scenario are based firmly in reality but I like the mythic proportions of this man with a strong sense of duty, a strong sense of honor, who will literally do anything to protect a noble witness. Speaking of mythic, what else would you call Arnold wielding two electromagnetic rail guns like some kind of action movie robot sent from another planet to conquer Earth? Simply incredible. Actually, now that I look at it, this scene looks sort of familiar. That weapon or whatever the hell it was, it was from your company, it was from Cyrus, wasn't it? Yeah, it's an EM prototype. It's not even supposed to exist. EM? Electromagnetic pulse. No gunpowder, no conventional bullets. They fire aluminum rounds at almost the speed of light. You're talking about the rail gun. The part was really well written to suit Arnold's strengths which at that point had grown to include his sense of humor. You're late. Traffic. The script for Eraser was one of the most high profile around Hollywood, undergoing multiple rewrites by writers the caliber of Frank Darabont, known for the Shawshank Redemption and Nightmare on Elm Street 3, and William Wisher, who had just worked with Arnold on a little thing called T2 Judgment Day. John Milius, who wrote Apocalypse Now, Conan the Barbarian, Red Dawn and others did additional rewrites at Arnold's request. Even the music was top shelf with Oscar winning composer Alan Silvestri keeping the energy at a high level throughout. I try to make it a point to watch Eraser once or twice a year and every time I'm stunned by how extreme it is and it makes me love it even more. Arnold racks up one of his highest body counts and yeah it makes me long for the days when a movie like this could be a mainstream hit. Eraser was huge in 1996, earning $242 million on a budget of around $100 million, which was a ton back then. But it also marked the end of an era for Arnold Schwarzenegger. He would follow it immediately with the unfortunate Jingle All the Way, a film that's earned cult status for all of the wrong reasons. That was followed by an embarrassing, but funny, role as Mr. Freeze in Batman and Robin. Arnold's name was no longer enough to sell a non-franchise movie. 
Sure, he could still pull a decent number for Terminator 3, but he basically retired from action flicks at that point. He came back with 2013's The Last Stand, which, I mean, the less said on that one, the better. There was probably a window of time when an Eraser sequel could have happened, but one never materialized. The last year we did learn of a, what else, a remake, titled Eraser Reborn. That would star Shadowhunters Dominique Sherwood in the lead role. Filming was completed last summer and it's currently in post, so it may not be too long before Warner Brothers releases it, probably for their home entertainment wing. Nope, Eraser won't be on the big screen, I'm afraid. Besides, if it doesn't have any connection to Arnold or US Marshal John the Eraser Kruger, they may be Eraser is best revisited every so often so that it's never erased from our memories. Eraser gets 8 out of 10 Stallones. Thank you for watching our show. If you like what you see, please subscribe to our channel, tell your friends who like this sort of content, and turn on the bell to receive notifications for all of our latest videos. We're an independent company and we appreciate all of your support.